Here we are. Welcome <sighs> to the open sky. We're not anywhere yet because we've been sailing for ever. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I, I get it. The sickness gets to you. But let's just let's just let's talk to people. It's good okay, to get some fresh air. Yeah. No, he gets air sick. Yeah, because we're not in the sea, so you can't be sea sick. Sick. Get air sick. <laughs> we're not in the you sea, so you get your air, air legs going. You know, <laughs> your legs, but your legs. Come on, let's go. Let's go talk to people. Echo. Echo. Echo is Echo glaring staring at, at Galen as Hecate attempts to speak with her. It was just one line, you know. Just the, okay. yeah. Hecate. Echo, I'm thinking maybe at the next station we could ask for more of that luster dust. I don't know about you, but all this traveling is only exciting if you can actually see where we're going a bit more, you know? Echo? Echo, are you even listening to me? Oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Did we do wait, what? Where the fuck? Wait, but where is- Who are you looking what? for? <laughs> Who are you looking for? Um, Mitty is up there. There's Mitty, there's <laughs> Keelbert, <laughs> there's Clover, <laughs> and there's Dreamer up there. Okay, he's we're okay, going Dreamer. He's okay, Dreamer. <laughs> Dreamer. Dreamer, what's up? The person was the farthest away. Hi. My bad. What's up, dude? Sorry, my intuition just had to redirect me. God. <laughs> the pirate captain looks off from the back of the ship with a serious expression on his face. Damn it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn it. Why now, huh? Right when we're on this mission, why did he have to show up and ruin everything? Okay, Dreamer, what was that exactly? Who is that Valkyrie? An old nuisance of ours. That Valkyrie is one of the Valkyrie captains in the Ethereum provinces. His name is Sir Cedric. Sir Cedric? He You've told me about him before. I didn't think you were listening to my rambling, honestly. He's been chasing after our crew for longer than I can remember. Probably almost a century at this point. The guy really doesn't know how to let a grudge go, so I just recommend treating him like any other Valkyrie. Wait, so you want us to just avoid him? Hmm? Getting spotted by him is practically immediate jail time. If you want to keep yourselves on task, then I'd recommend you keep out of sight from him and his troops. He rubs his temple for a moment before sighing. But let's not worry about that until later. For now, you got away from him, and he didn't see you or us. Which is good. <laughs> Where to next? Uh, we actually wanted to investigate Nirvana. Nirvana, huh? <laughs> that brings back memories, doesn't it, Lily? <laughs> Do you remember when we had to go into the candy store to ask if their items are sugar-free while Mitty snagged a couple of gummy sweets? <laughs> Man, the lady in there was so confused. <laughs> Look on her face! <laughs> Alright then, Nirvana it is. He flutters his wings lightly, looking off towards Quixote as he moves in and out of the engine room of the ship. I'll get us on course then for the city. Just sit tight, heroes. Whatever. Until then, it'll probably take a good, uh, half a day to get there. Take some time off, alright? After all the running around you people have done, <laughs> I'd be an ass if I didn't think you've earned one. Talk to your allies, or just sit down somewhere, huh? <laughs> We're alright, but thanks, streamer. That would be actually nice. Hello, Chibote and Clover. Should we talk to Clover first? Yes, Clover. Chibote! <laughs> I know you didn't say that, but that was the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, I would have thought of it. <laughs> Fuck. Clover right. and Quixote would be having some sort of conversation as they look at one another. One of the many maps. All the way to. <clears throat> Wait. Nope. Oh, that. Quixote. Okay. Yeah. Heck. So let me let me get some oxygen in my my lungs, man. Oh my god! <laughs> that wasn't All the way kidding. to Nirvana. That's where Dreamer and the heroes want to go, huh? Cl Clover, I, I don't know about this. Kyoto shivers a bit. Clover just pats Kyoto's head comfortingly, giving him a smile. Hmm. She gives a noise, a noise and a nod of assurance. Oh, 
uh, what's going on over here? I don't know, server. <laughs> you... You really want to go to Nirvana, huh? Kyote asks, shake, shaking out his hair as to move Clover's hand. Uh, are you sure about that? Because... Because what if they arrest us when we arrive? What do we do with the graffiti on the wall of the school? Or the stolen candy? Or when we set the flying pigs free into the watchtowers? Or when we- Coyote would begin to ramble before Clover would place her hands on his shoulders with a stern expression. Mm. Clover shakes her head quickly to calm him. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I mean, we are going back to save them. I, it really, it shouldn't be a problem. They both look at Lily and then look back at one another. Oh, uh, what the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> they, they both look at Lily and then look back at one another. Kyote sighs a bit before giving a rather weak fist pump in the air. Uh, let's... Let's set sail! <laughs> uh... Mm-hmm. Clover gives you a small smile before watching Kyote go. She winks at you before getting back to work herself. Her winks are a blink because she has an iPad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lily, what the fuck were they talking about? Uh, just a few harmless pranks. Um, uh -huh. It was not a big deal, I swear. It was just a few things here and there. Just simple things. <laughs> if you're sure. Clover and Quixote would be having some sort of conversation as they look at one of their many, many maps. What about Mitty? Mitty! Alright, sure. <laughs> we just shat on her. <laughs> hey there! Ooh. Marcy's like pushing me off the boat so to move the I was fucking over ass there out of first. the way. <laughs> Mitty would seem a bit anxious herself as she works on the sails, pulling at some of the ropes to adjust the height of the balloon over the ship. She wouldn't be smiling as she mutters her quietly to herself. Uh, Mitty, you all right there? Hmm? She glances back at you before grinning. Why wouldn't I be? Hmm? I'm always great. <laughs> I love going on adventures with all my friends. She walks over to another rope to adjust it. Yeah, you were just a little bit quiet before. Did some that situation at the outpost worry you? Why would it worry me? Nothing all that bad happened. <laughs> I mean, what? We ran into a little bit of trouble? We always run into trouble, remember? Trouble is practically our collective middle name. She pulls at another rope. However, somewhere in the skies, a noise similar to the whale would sound. To a whale would sound. And she would go a bit pale, pulling out one of the staffs that jingle at her hip and pointing it toward the back end of the ship, looking at the clouds as if searching for something behind the ship itself. Mitty, I, I think it was just a whale. We're, we're all right. <laughs> she gets a bit of a frown as she places her staff back in its holster at her hip. I guess I'm just a bit anxious after all. <laughs> well, that sounds new. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think, I, I think I'm gonna go below deck for a bit, make sure these ropes are tied up nice and tight, alright? <laughs> she grimaces a bit, still looking through the clouds behind the ship to ensure that, to, ins to ensure that nothing is following you before she goes below deck. <laughs> At least you're catching them. One day I'll learn how to catch them before you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gallant. Get the fuck up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, um, yep, yep, that's it for me. <laughs> God damn. No. Gallant! Gallant! This world is cold. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, <laughs> no one, yeah, no one, no one gets that reference. But you know what? That made my friends laugh, and that's all that matters to me. All right, hi, Galen. Aww. Galen looks off the edge of the ship, his eyebrows raised. Well, that was rather exciting then, wasn't it? That was possibly some of the most enticing adventure I've had the pleasure of partaking in. Wait, 
you're not stressed or anything? We were literally chased out by a Valkyrie. Stressed? On the contrary, a thrilling journey with perilous stakes, all for the sake of hidden wealth and treasure lying in wait to be taken to be found by none other than yours truly. How could I possibly be scared off from such a destiny? A destiny to truly dominate the struggling and poorish economy of modern Etheria with riches and glory unbeknownst to all but me! I mean, I guess that's one way to hype yourself up. Besides, conflict with Valkyrie, nothing quite new to someone like me. He rubs the back of his neck sheepishly. As unfortunate as it seems, I do not tend to be entirely golden an individual myself at times. However, all of my actions are completely justified, I'll have you know. Well, someone like you. Committing crimes, yeah, I find that hard to believe. Oh, begin to believe it, my friend. I once even held a title for most Valkyrie. I once even held a title for most Valkyrie. I believe they refer to my presence as a Code Blue. It, it was only later that I learned that such a meaning behind the code was simply removal of a rather irritating shopkeeper. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but fear not! I cannot be so easily dissuaded! What the Valkyrie would never be able to remove from me is my sheer determination and drive to become far more successful than they could ever imagine. For truly, what is the best revenge but to end up being far more wealthy, powerful, and successful than those that decided you would do far better at your lowest point than your highest? I mean, that's a nice way of putting it i am truly no warrior at heart but i am quite the clever businessman have you told your captain of this uh dingy little ship that you will be wanting to travel towards in nirvana yep yep excellent in that case allow me my friends to be your guide i am Quite familiar with the city of Nirvana, after several attempts of my, of my own to garner a prestigious shop within its borders. However, they are a rather closely knit group of individuals. You take that information how you will. But worry not! I can get you all through the ins and outs, if you will. Nirvana has a rather rich history indeed. It would not be a horrible idea even to speak with some of the townspeople themselves on its history, in order to gain more information. Yeah, I think we can do that. If we are setting sail from the merchant's outpost, it should not be long before we make it to our destination. I shall endeavor to remain patient. Perhaps even take the time to meet some of the other crew members you have on board. There goes the It would be at that exact moment that Echo rushes forward with her sword in hand, pointing the blade toward Galen, who puts his hands up in surrender. Who the hell are you supposed to be, huh? Well, Echo! Server said no. <laughs> Server says no. Server says Neko. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, 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 another fallen? Yeah, what about it, huh? What are you doing on board, Angel? Echo hisses. Hecate approaches from behind her, pulling her away by the arm. Echo, it's not polite to threaten other trespassers with a sword. <laughs> Hecate laughs a bit. Why are niceties your priority? Some random angel waltzes his way onto a pirate ship, and you don't find it the least bit concerning? What if he's some kind of spy, huh? Regina would have never trusted something like this. The hell? He's not a spy. Like, I doubt this dude could even hold a sword. He's going to just guide us, all right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we upgraded it! I don't understand. We go. Get a fuck out of there we go. Just make sure it was me. Okay, yeah. How are you supposed to trust that he's not guiding you into some kind of trap? Guiding all of us into a trap? Echo snaps at you all. How are you so trusting of random angels when our safety is on the line here? Maybe you don't have to worry about yourself since you're the heroes or whatever. But what about the rest of us, huh? The more people who just walk into this tiny damn ship, the more we'll end up realizing that there are three fallen in Aetheria where we shouldn't be. And that doesn't bother you? Angels are pure and innocent and naive by nature. They can't help but do the right thing because they've been raised to be perfect little pure souls. Echo, just listen to us. Hang on a moment, if you will. 
He clears his throat, slowly putting his hands down. <clears throat> <clears throat> if you are afraid of being reported to some sort of authority, I can assure you I would never do such a thing. How the hell am I supposed to trust your word, huh? Echo growls. Because I did not report the young man from last night. Nor will I report you all. I have no quarrel with you, Fallen. After all, I understand how difficult life must be for you. He's right, you know. We met a Fallen named Virgil. And Galen let him go. Echo narrows her eyes, slowly lowering her sword. And why is that? Don't tell me no one decided to question that. Simply because I know he has far less than me. And whereas I wish to gain more than those who look down on me, I do not wish to become that which I worked so hard to counteract. To look down on someone with the less would be to give in to the mentality of those that doubt me. I would much rather prosper and thrive for myself without acting so rudely towards others, yes? After all, wealth is one method of revenge, but... Is kindness also not one of the greatest forms of superiority? Hmm. Galen simply smiles at Echo before bringing a finger up to his mouth playfully. Think about it, but simply know that I'm not your enemy, nor your downfall. And with that, he would simply walk away with a slight hop in his step, leaving Echo completely befuddled. Um, Earth to Echo? Echo stares in shock as Galen leaves, slowly sheathing her sword back at her waist. Who the hell was that? Uh, Echo? Me, Galen. <laughs> okay, and why the hell is Galen here? And why is he on this ship? Because he's going to guide us around Nirvana. We're going to another city? God damn it! Do you have any idea how many close calls we've already had in this realm? We wander around the entirety of Aetheria with some cloaks and white dust that only worked for a day. We sneak through Valkyrie walls and then go to an outpost filled with angels and almost get caught by some kind of kale ripoff. Right, I, Sir Cedric or something like that. I, I, get, I get your point here. What I'm saying is we're taking too many risks that if you want Hecate to stay safe and not arrested, you need to start thinking carefully about your decisions and the choices you keep making that could endanger her life. Echo, what about you, though? Hecate asks, a bit surprised. <laughs> I know how to fight, okay? You? You throw some snowballs and sing a catchy tune. You wouldn't last a day in prison. You'd get eaten alive. Oh. Hecate pouts, a bit hurt. No offense. Oh, fine. We'll try to be careful, okay? Now we wait for no. the server! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just trying to sit here and tell you what to do. I'm trying to sit here and tell you what to do for the good of the group. Got that? Yeah, we got it. He better. She scoffs a bit, tossing her hair out of her eyes before walking away. If you're going to another town, that means more supplies. Look, if that luster stuff is as common Try as again. it seems- What? So what try you again. You said you luster what? stuff. It's luster luster dust. Stuff. Oh, I thought I, I thought I said it right. Sorry, my bad. Um, if you're going to another town, that means more supplies. Look, if that luster dust stuff is as common as it seemed from what Hecate said about it being used for bakery decoration, then Maybe try and look for some while you're out. That way, the next day, we could go out with you, maybe? Alright? Uh, I guess that sounds good. <clears throat> Just don't be idiots. She sighs before walking into the back room. Hecate looks after her as she goes and smiles awkwardly at you all. Sorry about her. I think the idea of acting on her own behalf to find out who she was is just stressing her out a bit. She doesn't mean it when she's rude, I'm certain. It's fine, Hecate. Just 
Look after her, okay? There's no other way yeah, to do they it. They said like at the cafe there. Oh. Uh oh. I, I know that's not cat. 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> I think we all said it at the same time. Uh, yep. If you're the real Kimber Beads, please stand up. The peace is fleeting. <laughs> oh no. Yep. A yeah, piece cat, of quiet by is the gone. way, you literally put Candy out of commission. <laughs> Like, she's puking yeah, so. in a bucket. Yeah, she's not oh. doing good. How's the bucket doing? Oh, it's very full now. <laughs> it's very full of the I can't go down there. Oh. oh. <laughs> you mock me, sink. Why? What's wrong with the sink? Shut up. What? Do you have a problem with the sink, Rex? What's wrong with the sink? Look at it. It's a nice little, a little bit shallow, but it's still a yeah, nice it's thing. It's very shallow, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, cat. Hi. Ah, uh, yes, the full bucket cat. What? Look, look at her. Look at her. Look what you did to her. <laughs> she can't even speak. She's what? not okay. She's, She's not vomiting okay. because of you. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's getting worse. God. <laughs> This is very unfortunate. Well, we said half a day. We still got a lot of time to kill. Story time? Uh, 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 um. don't, don't sink, don't sink. Oh, don't, don't do sink. it, don't. No, don't no, 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 no. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. No, no, let's talk about this. No, 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 about this. Cat no, wishes to it. train oh. with you. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? No, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Miley, why are you trying to treat yeah. me? Wait, wait, that's a thing! I didn't know that was a thing! Wait, what? Yeah, don't wreck oh. each other unless you want to start trading. Marcy! What did I just say?! <laughs> Marcy, you want to trade with I'll you! Trade with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did you think about the hydrate when you were in Are we good? And still, my favorite thing is killing Marcy and then watching her around a corner. If you do, uh, <laughs> exclamation point Mythos Discord, it'll smaller? give you a Discord for this server. Does Cat look Ooh. smaller? She's always been short. What's wrong Cat's with you? Just been That's lighter. what my chat says. They're, they're... She looks even smaller than usual. Yeah, All right. I'm, uh -oh. I'm not supposed oh. to. <laughs> 100 no. bottles of flux in a row. 100 <laughs> bottles of flux. Take one down. Oh, open the spout. Drink it. Drink till the flux runs out. <laughs>